here's the question. Can Narendra Modi use foreign policy to revive India's economy? A hundred days after being sworn in as India's most powerful prime minister in a generation, Narendra Modi has re-energized Indian diplomacy. Here are the top three things you need to know about his first few months in office. Narendra Modi has won the first single-party majority since 1984. One of his top lieutenants now controls the ruling right-of-center Bharatiya Janata Party. Within the party, Modi has effectively sidelined all his rivals. Modi's first 100 days has been marked by a flurry of diplomatic activity. He just wrapped up a highly successful visit to Japan where he bonded with his fellow conservative nationalist Shinzo Abe. Before that, Modi went to Brazil for the sixth BRICS summit with Brazil, Russia, China, India, and South Africa. And later this month, a much anticipated visit to Washington is on the cards. The heart of the new Prime Minister's diplomatic blitz lies in reviving India's economy. Modi was elected to deliver jobs and better infrastructure for Indians. And this is the thread that links all his diplomatic initiatives so far. Later this month, Modi will come to Washington and meet with President Obama. If things go well, his visit could boost U.S.-India trade ties and fulfill his goals of using diplomacy to revive India's economy.